struggle. Charlie Dent, if Joe Biden's political standing were stronger, do you think there'd be more uh, hand-wringing over Trump by Republicans? Uh, I don't know, but I, I think there are a lot of Republicans out there looking for an alternative. I mean, you hear a lot about the no labels movement, trying to put together some kind are of... Are you future. supportive of it? Uh, I, I am supportive of the idea of getting ballot access, absolutely. Uh, and now, that's, pull the plug if Trump's not the nominee, but I think that th what they're doing is trying to provide an alternative for a lot of disaffected voters, I'd say, you know, center-right to center-left. It Tr could. Trump, a winning, well, Trump can get more than 45% of the vote. Depends who's a candidate. But if 45% is a winning number... In a four-way race. It's, but it's the candidate possible. can't draw the vote. What's the use to having them? So well, I do think it's another third party. It's yeah. a part, no labels is a party unto itself. But remember what happened, though, in 2016. There was a large number of voters who did not vote for mm -hmm. either Trump uh, or, or Hillary Clinton. I think there's an even bigger number out there that is very dissatisfied, somewhere between center left, left to center right of the spectrum. We just don't know where they're going to land. Exactly. Do you find them on the, on the trail a lot? Uh, in Nevada, yeah. I did. I talked to a lot of people uh, who are who are in that in that boat, but it's still it's still early. Well, you'll be glad for this. At the end of the show, I'm going to try to find out when the heck the Nevada primary or caucus <laughs> is and which one matters. Yep. But that's a whole other story. Deepa, Joe, Charlie, thank you all. Thank you. Excellent way to start the show.